What's going on, Badger fans? Excited for this one. We got another huge piece, literally and figuratively, of that 2025 recruiting class joining the show. Can't wait to chop it up. Let's go. You are Locked On Badgers, your daily podcast on the Wisconsin Badgers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's going on, Badger fans? Welcome to Locked On Badgers. Thank you so much for tuning in, for joining us as always. Today's episode brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers can bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Visit FanDuel.com slash LockedOn today to get started. And we waste no more time, man. We got that dude, Michael Reski Roski, uh, jumping on the show. Sorry, I mispronounced it. I literally just asked you. Um, yeah, you're good. Dude, I really appreciate the time. Uh, I want us to start here. I said it before, and I, I meant to get your huddle film up because I have your huddle film, and for some reason it wasn't working, and I couldn't get to jump on this. But your film is awesome to watch, and there's one of the best parts about it is in space you are really, really athletic for an offensive lineman, and some of those dudes you hit, you knock them out of the camera film. It's like you knock them out of the. What does that feel like to do that to somebody? Because I don't know. Yeah, I mean it, it feels great. Obviously, you know, obviously not the Division One, you know, competing against all those big guys, but. It's still amazing, you know, 150-pound dude just launching through the air. There's nothing better than that. Let me ask you this, because I always find this interesting. Every time I talk to a recruiting guy, a scouting guy, or watching film and offensive linemen, last year's class, this year's class, they always say it's really hard to evaluate offensive linemen because you're playing guys half your size. From mm -hmm. an offensive, how is that How is it difficult for you when people keep harping on your technique and, and, you know, play with leverage when you don't need to at that level? Yeah, I mean, it sucks that no one's as big as me, but it is fun just watching these kids launch. But that is something that I really want to really want to focus on, especially going to the next level, especially with Wisconsin being, you know, linemen. This is what Wisconsin is to run the ball. But, yeah, I mean, Jeff, definitely focusing on technique-wise and just making sure that I have everything down and the best I can be with technique just to make sure that that step going into college isn't as much of a leap and it's just, you know, getting that technique right down and being able to go right away. And let's, let's talk a little bit more about your game. Six foot seven, you're listed on two, four, seven at two sixty, but you're, you're bigger yeah, than that's that. No, right? Nowhere near that. I, I don't know even the last time I was two sixty. What, what are you so, at now? I, I'm about two ninety three hundred. It varies, but yeah, that's about where I'm at. What is what is your ideal weight? Do you think like when you when you're at your your perfect your perfect spot? What are you going to be? Do you think? So for now, I like staying at three hundred just because like I know that I'm mobile at three hundred. So I have no idea how much of a difference adding weight is going to be. But college college knows what I'm going to be at. They they told me not to worry about trying to get to a certain weight or staying under a certain weight. They just said go out. You know, live your normal life, and whatever you come in at is what you come in at, and we'll work with you even either gaining weight or losing weight. Well, I want to talk about your game a little bit more, too. What is a scout – if you were to give yourself a scouting report, what, what what would your game be? What would your scouting report be? I don't know. That's tough because, again, competition's not that good. But I would say just I'm mauling people out there. Like, you know, no one's getting past me. I'm protecting the quarterback's blind side. He doesn't have to worry about anyone getting past on me. Um, otherwise, yeah, just go out, play ball, and kill the little kids. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I, it's such an offensive line mentality, too. And there's so many plays where you you finish blocks, right? And you hear yeah. that all the time from people talking about offensive linemen. You want guys who, between the whistles, play with an edge. Where does that edge come from from you? I don't know. My dad always told me, because he coached me back when we were younger, but he always told me, especially last year, my sophomore year, because I didn't have any any offers at the time. He's like, if you, you know, want to do something, he's like, you got to go out there and just kill everyone. He's like, you got to put everyone on the ground, just lay on them and swim on them and make the film really interesting. And I was always the kid that's like, well, I really don't want to do that because then it just takes myself out of the play. I'd rather, you know, just get, get to the next level and just keep going. And so, I mean, I kind of varied between and towards the end of the season, I was like, you know, I was like, I got nothing to lose. I might as well just start killing kids. So I started doing that. And, you know, then the recruit recruits started coming in, offers started coming in. I started asking colleges, like, you know, what do you want to see on film that makes it interesting? Or what do you evaluate? You know, do you want to see me laying on a kid or do you want to see me taking on multiple? And they said, it all depends on the play. You know, if it's going away from you, just kill the kid you got. But if they're leading behind you, just keep keep going and 
see the mobility in space, especially with how fast I am. You know, I think that's a really interesting part of your game. Your your mobility in space, you you can get to that second level, latch on to smaller, quicker defenders, and really eliminate them from the play. Did you play other sports as a kid? Where does some of that – a lot of offensive linemen at the high school level that are your size aren't able to locate in space the way you do. So I started playing basketball in eighth grade. Otherwise, football is the only sport I played. So I, I just think I got lucky and am super athletic and super big. And I don't know where it came from because both my parents aren't that tall, but – I'm just a big dude that came from somewhere. How, what's your basketball game like? It's not good. No. <laughs> just physical? Yeah. You know, I, I am a defensive guy. If you give me the ball, it's probably a turnover. I love it. That's self-awareness right there. What's the best part about being an offensive lineman for you? Is it run blocking? Is it pass blocking? What, what's the best part? I would say as of now, it's definitely run blocking. I definitely want to get my pass blocking down, especially going into college. But I would say right now my biggest – advantage is run blocking talk to me about we you talked a little bit about technique and trying to hone that in a little bit more as you get to that next level obviously at the next level everybody's a big dude right everybody's physical yeah. um is that the biggest area of growth for you do you think going forward where is your game still have to, has to get better i definitely think that's the biggest thing is making the gap from high school to college smaller because just going from any type of high school whether it's d d1 division or d5 like we are Taking that step from there to college, I mean, everyone's bigger than you. Everyone's faster than you. It's all who wants it more. So definitely working with the technique-wise to make it not such a big gap difference. And then obviously, you know, once I do get to college, just really toning in on that and, you know, probably going to redshirt freshman year and really tone in on that and just hit the weight room with uh, Brady Collins and just get bigger and faster and come back sophomore year ready to go. Well, listen, I have a bunch of questions queued up from people who are excited to, to get your take on something. But you mentioned Brady Collins. So let me put this one up there right now. Um, have you talked to Brady Collins and are you excited for the workouts? That's from Garza, Garbazzo Beans. Yeah, I've talked to him a couple of times on visits and whatnot. He he loved my lower body. He's like, upper body is easy to build. He's like, but your lower body frame, he's like, it's just huge. He's like, like every place I've been to just stare at my calves. They're like, oh, my gosh, those things are huge. And I mean, they are. They're bigger than everyone. But. Yeah, I mean, I've talked to him quite a few times on visits and whatnot. And I can't wait for his workouts, but I also know they're going to be way tougher than anything I've ever had. So it's I'm excited for it, but it's also like, ooh, maybe I'm not. You've seen the Squad Fest, right? The the videos? Yep, yep. Are we ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready for that. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I love to come up with the, the calves, too. Maybe be like a calf model after the football stuff works. doesn't work or, or works out, I mean. Um, yeah. Last one here. You mentioned, like, feedback from different staffs. I'm very curious, what has the Wisconsin feedback been like when you asked, what do you want to see more on on film? Did they give you anything specific? No, they really didn't say what they wanted to see. They just said, you know, go out, be yourself, play ball, and what happens, happens. You know, obviously, one play mentality, one play at a time. If you mess up on a block, don't worry about it. Go out and kill them the next play. So I don't think they've really said, you know, go out and maul kids or go out and just, you know, kind of work your way up to the second level. But I've kind of done both just to get both of the films out there. So obviously it sucks that I tore my ACL, you know, mm -hmm. halfway, halfway through my third game, but definitely those first three game, first two and a half games were amazing and really wish I wouldn't have got injured, but obviously, you know, can't, can't go back on that now. What What is that like on a pain scale an ACL for those who haven't heard it? I, it varies. Like I've heard from other people that it sucked for the first like couple weeks but for me, I mean, I was on painkillers for the first day and then I got off. And I mean, the first like day or two at therapy sucked just because having to move my leg. But I mean, I was already bending my knee to 90 degrees the day after surgery. So mm. that's that's really good, I guess. I, I don't know anything about ACLs or surgery and stuff like that, but they said that that's not normal. So it's I've always been ahead of the game in this uh, process. So I just want to keep on top of that and come back better than ever. Man, you're young and genetically blessed. That's what that is. Yeah. You wait yeah. till you get to 40, man. You're not going to heal from a stubbed toe. Trust me. <laughs> um, we're going to take one quick break here, come back with Mike. Uh, we definitely want to talk about the recruitment, the journey to Wisconsin, representing the home state, all that stuff coming up next on Lockdown Badgers. But first, a quick break for our friends of the show over at FanDuel. FanDuel remains your number one source for all your sports betting needs, all your sports betting information. Big basketball games coming up this week. Obviously, Wisconsin-Nebraska, Wisconsin-Purdue. 
both of those you can go get in on that action over at FanDuel. please do it responsibly but futures parlay spreads teasers it's all there plus now new customers with a five dollar bet you get a hundred and fifty dollars back in bonus bets win or lose that's 150 dollars with the five dollar money line bet win or lose in bonus bets FanDuel is fast simple the payouts are quick the user interface is incredibly easy to use and again they have all your options on there from different sports futures different teams different options for betting Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on. Get in on the action today. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel, the official sports betting partner of the NFL. Uh, let's let's get back to this conversation here. I want to start with um the recruitment. Go back to that. What was um the first contact with this new staff like with you, with the, this Luke Fickle staff? These guys was Bicknell stopping by. So Casey Robach was on the old staff, staff obviously. Um, and he he just told me to keep in contact with him because at the time they couldn't contact me. So I would just call him every week, you know, just catch up. How's it going? And so just kept talking to him. And then Bicknell got hired. He stopped by. And the interesting with that was actually he he stopped by the school. We're talking, you know, normal conversation. He's like, yeah, he's like, you know, if you were an out-of-state guy, he's like, I'd offer you right here. He's like, buddy, he's like, you know, you're an in-state guy. He's like, I want to get you down to campus, meet Fickle, and have Fickle offer you. So the first time I went down there with the new staff, I went with my parents. I was like, oh, you know, we're going to get an offer from Wisconsin. It's going to be great. And they didn't they offer. I was like, oh, what the heck? But obviously, you know, it's all recruitment. And t- talking to Casey uh, after I committed, he's like, yeah, he's like, we were just trying to keep you a secret. I was like, oh, I, I get it. I was like, you know, at the time, I only had my Indiana offer, and I don't want to be that guy. But in Indiana isn't like the top ranked, so. Yeah, obviously right. Wisconsin was like, you know, let's try and keep you on the down low. But then I got my Minnesota offer him like the day later they offered. I was like, oh, let's go. Like, finally season. the offer. Yep. Yep. I was like, finally the offer I actually want. So, but even then the secret really didn't stay in, in the, the bag, right? Michigan, Notre Dame, um, Kansas, I know reached out, Illinois. I mean, there's several other places. What was it like to get those offers? Yeah, it was definitely something interesting. Uh, obviously, most of them were Big Ten schools, so when one school offers, it seems like they all come crawling. Uh, Notre Dame was actually really cool because I was not – I mean, when I think uh, college football, I think of Wisconsin, Notre Dame, Michigan, obviously, uh, Alabama, but I don't like the South, so I'm kind of glad that they didn't come calling. It's just it's, – it's too hot down there. But You're so Wisconsin. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a Midwest kid. I like the cold. I, I wear shorts all year round, so – Dude, I love but, it. Yeah, I mean, it was great. You know, obviously when Michigan offered, I mean, at the time they were the number one ranked team, just won the national championship. I mean, just to get an offer from them, it's like, holy crap, you know, maybe I am better than what I better than what I thought I was. You know, obviously it just wasn't the right fit. And Wisconsin, Wisconsin can't leave, can't leave the home state. So that was, I mean, no brainer, can't leave here. But Kansas was interesting. I didn't I didn't know much about their program. So just talking to the recruiters, trying to get in info from them. I didn't take a visit there, but I mean, Wisconsin was my number one anyways. So what was it like? Um, I'm kind of curious when obviously there's an and we had a question in here, too, that we'll also put that up there from Probst. Uh, first impression of the new offensive line coach. So what was that like for you? Obviously, you were big. Now was there when you offered committed and now you have AJ Blaze. Like, what, what was that like for you? Yeah, talking to AJ, he actually stopped by the school last Thursday with Fickle. And it, it was I mean, for we had talked on the phone for a couple times. But first impression, you know, face to face is like, oh my God, this guy's amazing. He so he actually coached one of my dad's buddies' uh, brothers at Winona State, so he knew he knew him. So we kind of had a connection already. He's like, oh, you know, what a small small world it actually is. It's like, yeah, it's like Wisconsin kids, you know, can't can't really go away from them for all line. But yeah, I mean, just first impression was amazing. I, I love the guy, and I already want to go to war with him, so I can't wait to get down there on campus and get him to start coaching me. That's awesome, man. Uh, I want to ask this, too, and this is something I asked Cooper. Cooper was on the show the other day, and I, I did mention to you, you saw it. He he said he yeah. would want no piece of you coming on a blitz. Um, I do want to turn that around. You know, is he he's coming on a blitz. Are you going to handle him one-on-one, or do you think he might get you? I don't know. If, if he's coming full speed, I think he's bull rushing me, and I'm – getting on my rear end but obviously you know we don't know yet i i mean i love the kid i i have so much high praise for him he's such a freak athlete so obviously we'll see next next fall next no next spring because i think we're both enrolling early so we'll we'll go at it in spring ball for sure no i love it that was actually one of the next questions i was going to ask um enrolling early that does that is on your horizon 
Yep. So I've I've talked to my counselor because last year I was like, you know, no matter where I go, I always wanted to roll early because then you get to, you know, that extra semester, get credits in, start spring ball. So I definitely always wanted to do that. And I've got everything set up. I think I need one English credit next semester. So I think, yeah, we'll, you know, definitely enroll early and hopefully get a couple other guys to enroll early and start this thing early. I love it, man. Um, one of the things I asked to this to Coop too, but I think it's, it's obviously applicable to yourself. Do you feel more pressure being an in-state kid representing the Badgers? I definitely think overall there's more pressure just by the fans and like committing to Wisconsin just because you're an in-state guy. No one wants you to leave. But overall, I think it's just as much pressure from an out-of-state kid as an in-state kid. Obviously, the fans really want to see the in-state kid succeed. But no matter what, out-of-state, in-state, everyone wants to see you succeed. Everyone wants to see the Badgers succeed. So I think it's normal no matter whether you're an in-state or out-of-state kid. It's just definitely during the recruiting process, though. Fans fans definitely want you to stay in Wisconsin. I'm going to bang on a couple of these questions we got here. Um, this one is uh, from Brian S. Brian Shetty. Uh, what player do you, is there anybody you mold your game after? I definitely say I definitely watch Joe Thomas highlights just to watch that because I mean he was such a freak at Wisconsin and then obviously in the NFL Hall of Famer. So I definitely watch his film. You know what can I critique my film and get better on his? So I'd say he's the number one guy I watch. But otherwise, uh, Trent Williams, left tackle for San San Fran, oh, yeah. definitely watch his game. I mean he's. I mean, they got him lined up at tight end, sending him in motion. Like, that that's amazing. Like, I, I want to be that guy. Like, freak athlete just, boom, hits the rear, hits the defensive end. He just falls on the ground. It's like, oh, that's amazing film. Yeah, he's a ridiculous athlete for his size. Um, and then second part of this one, any was there have there been any huge coaching influences on your life that have kind of got you up to this point? I would definitely say, you know, starting young in, like, you know, elementary school, definitely my dad, you know, just pushing me to keep going and whatnot not giving up and hey just take it play by play um otherwise in high school i've i've actually found my own coach just out of high school just because you know like the thing that sucks with such a small school is that no one's like really the highest you know it's not like we got a great old line coach that's played at the you know next level so i actually joe stelmacher he's the head coach for berlin played at wisconsin Oh, yeah. He so hit one of his roommates, Bob Doherty, was a tight end for Wisconsin. Then I think he transferred to Oshkosh for his senior year and then went to the NFL as a uh, walk on, pretty much free agent, and played for the Chiefs for a couple of years. So I was able to get in contact with him, and he's he's probably my biggest influence nowadays. I think we, yeah, we started about a year ago working together, and I mean, it shows from my sophomore to junior film, just the technique wise. I mean, it's night and day difference. and Obviously, once I start getting fully healthy with the ACL recovery, we're just going to get right back to it and just keep grinding. You ever watch? go back and watch Stillmacher highlights at Wisconsin? I haven't, but I, I definitely am going to because, like, that's all everyone talks about is, you know, Berlin, you know, Joe Stillmacher playing for the Badgers because I think he played next to Jim Leonard. He, he was so. a head, like he was a hard head. Stillmacher, I mean, in all the best yeah. ways, like he was a hitter. Um let me let me ask this. So I, I'm so always so interested in the development of players and what are you doing on the side? Like when you say we're working on technique, what drills are you working on? Like how long are your workouts? Like what goes into that for you? For your kind of you and your personal coach. So our workouts are normally hour, hour and a half, and it's just working on opening up the hips, keeping your back straight, and like having enough leverage when you're in your pass set to be able to come back when you got a dude that's running a four or five and is going to try and cut to the inside, being able to push off your outside leg and just get back to the middle. Cause I mean, most, most people, like when you watch them in high school, they just put their hand on the ground and they don't, they don't have a pass set like the, like the college level needs. And I mean, you watch my film, I just send a pass set cause it's like, I can do my run, run set and pass set out of it. And no one's going to know the difference at this level. Obviously I need a, go back and focus on both so I have, you know, my pass set and my run set where I can have my hand on the ground and off definitely for the next level. So that's definitely something I'm going to go back to and work on for my senior year. I love it, man. All right, we're going to take one more quick break, come back with the lightning round, got a couple more questions um, from the people who are excited to hear from from uh, Michael. Uh, but first, a quick break for our friends of the show and a quick second to say thank you to everybody that has tuned into the show that's helped us build this community um, really, really do appreciate y'all as always. Uh, you guys are incredible and amazing. And uh, let's get back into it. Let's get uh, Michael back on the show. Definitely want to give you an opportunity, man. I, I have your Twitter account link down there. 
anywhere else people can kind of follow you or, or cheer along on the journey? I've got an Instagram, but I'd have to look at it. I don't, I don't keep track of all that stuff. If you listen, if you want to, you can send it to me and I'll tweet it out when we drop the show, but totally up to you. Uh, I've got it right here. It is Michael underscore Roski 76. Okay. So that's the socials. Go ahead follow them. Um, definitely. Let's, let's boost those things up and then let's get the rest of these questions here. So we had a bunch of other people. Uh, this is from Albert S. Tell him Cooper's scared of him. <laughs> uh, so we talked about that. Uh, this one is just a comment said, Hey, thanks for, thanks for being a hometown badger. A lot of people appreciate that from hometown yeah. kids and de- definitely cheer harder. Um, we kind of touched on this one a little bit, but Pepe said, uh, why Wisconsin even with several of the blue bloods? You kind of mentioned Wisconsin is always number one, but you never had that. Oh, it's a blue blood school. I have to go there. Yeah. yeah I mean, just because just because of the history that the school has had with Wisconsin, just they build the best old linemen that there are in the Big Ten. And I didn't want to leave the Big Ten. I'm I'm a guy of Midwest. You know, I like the cold, don't like the heat. So Michigan and Notre Dame were interesting, but I just I didn't feel a connection with Michigan. Uh, Notre Dame was up there. So was Illinois, Indiana, uh, definitely Indiana with Bob Bostad, just because he was my first really connection to Wisconsin my freshman year. And then obviously he leaves, you know, first week. I mean, I think it was like the first or second day that he was actually hired for the Indiana coaching staff. I mean, I was his first offer, so that was amazing. And that's pretty much what started this ball rolling. I mean, I didn't think anything anything like this was going to happen. But obviously, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and just got to keep looking forward and keep going. Uh, this one's from CJ. And this is kind of a question I want to – he said, how does it feel to drop in the recruiting rings immediately after committing to Wisconsin? I – I think I want I want to frame this this way. How do you look at recruiting rankings? Does that tick you off? Do you not care? I mean, obviously, everyone wants to be you know the four star, five star guys, nat, you know, top nationally recruits. But it's like at the end of the day, that's high school level. Like that doesn't mean anything to me. It's like as long as I go out, show that I'm better than everyone, and can produce at the college level, get get myself to playing on Sunday nights. That's all I care about. Like it, it doesn't matter, you know, if I was the last guy uh, nationally ranked or the first guy. If it doesn't show up in college, it doesn't mean anything to me. So, but th- definitely with like dropping in from a four star to a three star, I think the only reason that happened is obviously toward my ACL, and I'm sure it'll bump right back up after next year. Yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, favorite Badger of all time from Badger and Bournemouth? I'd definitely say Joe Thomas. He's he's a freak athlete. I mean, I didn't even know he played defense. And all oh, of a sudden, yeah. I was just having a, I was having a conversation with Fickle one day, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, Joe Thomas tore his ACL his junior year, you know, playing defense." I was like, "He played defense?" I was like, "That's news to me." I was like, "I didn't even know that." Yeah, I mean, so, he, was, yeah. He, he wasn't a mainstay there, but he was filling in because there was uh, injuries. It's a bowl game. He was just a freak show, right? Yeah. Like, he probably could have been a tight end if he wanted, like a jumbo tight end if he wanted to be. Probably could. Like, he's a freak show, man. Uh, Fickle's vest asked, and I, I love this question. What's it like to have to be a, a Offensive lineman, like how much do you eat in a day? What's that food portion look like? I don't even know how much I eat a day. You'd have to ask my mom. She's probably saying too much. I mean, I eat probably three or four portions for supper, and I mean, I have a big lunch. I'm not a breakfast guy, though. Like, you know, people always told me, you know, eat breakfast, lunch, supper, just keep something in your system all day. But I've just, I've never been a breakfast guy, so I normally have a big lunch, big supper. Uh, this, this is from Badger Thay's uh, condiments and toppings for the brat. And I warn you, there is a right answer for this, man. This, I've been. Yes, well, I'm curious. What do you do on your brats? So I'd probably put probably just mustard, either mustard or ketchup, if not both. Got to go ketchup. Like mustard's a terrible condiment. That's the worst thing ever. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mustard's like mustard goes out good on anything. Hot dogs, brats. I mean, it, it goes with everything. Right now, you are making everybody on the Discord happy. <laughs> They're all agreeing with you. Um, really quick, finish up with a couple questions here. What's the best part about the recruiting process? that's a tough one like definitely meeting the different uh families and recruiting staffs and coaches at all the different places the recruitment process nowadays is so interesting because it's not it's all on technology you know it's all boosting everyone's ego it's like for me you know obviously wisconsin was my home state i always wanted to go there obviously i wanted to see what other options there were out there but like it's just some it's like you watch some people like they're out there posting like oh you know I got an offer oh you know I'm here I'm here it's like you know great for you it's just like 
I mean, I was watching Cooper's thing too. I mean, he thinks the same way. It's like, just like once you find the place that calls home, you know, you want to call home, just, just commit like, you know, this whole top 11, top five. It's like, really? It's like, just commit to where you want to go and go ball out. It's like, it's just, it's a mindset for me. And I don't know. Some people may think it's different, but that's the way I think. Yeah. I did not see a top 11 list from you. No, no. Like, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't even have that many offers. Like, I think I had like six or seven. I don't even know. I don't even keep track anymore. It's like Wisconsin was my number one. That's where I want to go. That's that's the only one I cared about. Well, let me ask you this. What's the worst part of the recruiting process? I don't know. Definitely like it's definitely time consuming, you know, because like, you, you got to hop on a phone call like with every school at least once a week just to catch up, you know, see how it's going. It's stuff like for me, like I like to be in bed by 8, 830. So it's like, oh, let's wrap it up. Like, like I get every place, you know, they got – their practices are going from, you know, 8 to 8.30, 9. And it's just like, Jesus, like, I got school tomorrow morning. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get to sleep so I can go to school and stay awake. I love it. Uh, two more really quick questions. The worst game you ever played? Uh, probably, I don't know. It's it's definitely one of my games in freshman year. Uh, it's just, I think we were going against uh, uh, Broadhead Judah. I mean, I'm a freshman. I'm a twig out there. Like, I'm 260 pounds and fat. I have no muscle on me. And I'm just standing out there. I'm getting bull rushed, and people are getting by me. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, <laughs> I got I to gotta do something to get better because this sucks. That's awesome, though. Like, you grew from that. A lot of people, there's adversity, and they don't grow from it. Like, that's the whole point of life, man. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Last last question here. And, again, super appreciative of the time, man. Really, really do appreciate it. This has been awesome. Um, message for Badger fans. As Cooper said, you know, just keep watching, stay a fan. You know, this this is just going up. Um, I think I don't even know what our class is ranked right now. I think it's like tenth or ninth, but this is just the start. I'm I'm hoping that our class can get up to number one, especially once all their new recruiting ratings come up, come out next year. With all of us going to be bumping up to four stars, but the program's definitely in great hands with Fickle and all the coaches down there, and it's definitely on the rise. And be ready for a national championship because it's coming. Dude, I love it. Um, thank you so, so much for the time, man. I really do appreciate it. Badger fans, go give him a follow. All this social media stuff is linked uh, on Wisconsin. And, uh, yeah, man, it's been great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.